Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your What They Wish They Could Tell You reading. And we're going to be looking at what your special person wishes they could say to you, um, or maybe what your ex special person wish they could have said to you um, directly. So we'll see what the six cards can reveal in this reading here for you today. Of course, it can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, please like this video if you enjoy this kind of content uh, and this kind of theme. Um, please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of when readings for your sign are posted to the channel throughout the week. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to receive those updates um, from YouTube. Otherwise, I really do appreciate you popping over. It does mean a lot. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, well, there, there is someone here with a very conflicted energy, okay? I'm seeing ego getting in the way with the Six of Wands, very, very much so, Scorpio. Um, the Wheel of Fortune says something is changing with this person, so there could be something to do with a transformation, a change of mind, um, or a change of heart, okay, Scorpio? So there's someone here who wants to tell you they changed their mind, or they're on a different journey, or they want to circle back, or possibly restart something again. They want to tell you that they're very, um, they're at a very crucial point in their life or they've come to a very climactic time in their life and they want to open up and tell you um, this. I'm seeing a lot of regret and pain for, for walking away or deceiving you or hurting you. The Five of Swords is like walking away from a situation without really resolving it, okay? There was, there is someone here these two fives are standing out to me and there's someone here who feels maybe like they let other people influence their decision um, there could be regret about letting their friends or family or just people outside of your connection somehow affect your your relationship and i'm seeing regret in letting other people in and this is also like competition as well so there may be someone here who's um regretting being very possessive or controlling or competitive in a way if it's not that i feel like someone hates the way they've ended things they hate the way that they walked away or they ended a conversation especially if you had that some sort of argument you know they uh, they want to tell you they've done that out of haste scorpio the knight of swords he doesn't think very clearly you know he just he wants to have the last word and he 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 wants to just he he very much lets his ego it's almost like you can see there's an ego clash i think in these two cards the knight up against the six of wands and they're both they're both in their head they both like power they both like having that control and scorpio i think what i'm seeing here is that someone left a situation or maybe the last time you spoke it was very egocentric or it was someone who didn't fully think about what it is that they had to say they said it out of haste and they may have wanted to hurt you okay they may have wanted to in in trying to protect themselves with the four of pentacles scorpio you know trying to protect their own vulnerable parts um they've actually decided to they've actually decided to um hurt you in the process in a bit to protect themselves so i'm i'm guessing there's someone here who wanted to or who wants to communicate that to you that they're regretful or they're remorseful over these types of energies there's someone here who um could also be re um not necessarily regretting but there's someone here who uh wants to tell you that they're trying to pursue something here with the six of wands now six of wands is is success it can be material wealth it can be reaching a certain point in in their career or their spiritual life or religious life but there's someone here who had a lot of other stuff going on okay um outside of your connection and 
they're at a point, I think they're at, they've, they've come to a very big point in their life where they wish they could have told you. Now, for some of you, it may have been like a secretive job or secret work, or they just had something on the works that they were doing, or they had a lot going on in work, and they never really communicated that to you. They sort of just walked away and ended things very bizarrely. And there was, I, I see with the five of wands, there was potentially a lot of thoughts that were sort of left like, okay, well, what if this person did this and what if they did that and I think this is more applicable for those Scorpios if you have had a person that sort of ghosted you and like left you and you never really heard from them again um it's a very like cut off energy like you were there you were connected and then suddenly the knight of swords out of haste just exits the situation maybe this is an air sign that did this and or at least communication wise, there was a quick exit, like a very brief message or a very brief last response or a very quick breakup or a, um, it was very swift. It was a very swift decision and it wasn't the best decision. And as a result, it's, it's gotten the both of you in this place. But I think this person is coming to realize, don't forget the wheel of fortune brings us realizations. It brings us change. It brings us understanding. Of, of why things are the way they are and I'm getting that this person is understanding how they are much more and they want to tell you that they want to tell you they I the words that come to mind for me are I finally understand or I wish it wasn't like this I let people get in the way I let people influence my decision I let their advice or their their words get to me and change my decision or you know try to talk me out of it or try to talk me into it and this is what it led me to so I really feel maybe they're pointing the blame here at other people so there may be someone who wants to sort of point the finger at someone else I definitely do get the sense that there was outside influences that somehow impacted this person but again okay ego may prevent them from saying that at least for the time being but they do, I think, want to open up about something that they walked away from or they want to talk about something you shied away from, Scorpio. Maybe you didn't want to discuss it. You didn't want to talk about it. Maybe it's a taboo topic. Maybe it's a very sensitive topic in the sense where it always causes fights. And suddenly this person is like, well, you know, I know Scorpio is going to be touchy about it, but I want to do it anyway. So... They could be pushing against and overstepping some boundaries in the process here. But of course, that's going to vary for different Scorpios here. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. However, um, thank you again so much for tuning in. It really does uh, mean a lot. Please like this video, share it, uh, and also subscribe to the channel to get updates for when readings for Scorpio are posted to the channel throughout the week. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I'm sure we'll talk very soon. So take care, Scorpio, and bye for now.